Okay, I'm in my hotel room and I'm here for a job, but I'm gonna talk to you about raising your fees, raising your rates, and if you're stuck as a photographer, videographer, filmmaker, I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna move around this, so pay attention to this. Likely, you probably are stuck in your prices. Likely, you are afraid to raise your prices. Now, first I wanna tell you guys how I got this set up. Literally, this is how I'm doing my tripod. But let's talk about how you're gonna raise your prices and why you're afraid to raise your prices. You're afraid to raise your prices because deep down, you don't think you're worth it. Deep down, you don't think you're a real business. If you disagree, put it in the comments, tell me otherwise. But I don't think you think you're a real business if you're afraid to raise your prices. I don't think that you wanna be treated like a real business. I don't think that you think you have the value of a real business, but I'm telling you, you absolutely are because what you're creating videos, photos, visual arts is used in every single component of life. Literally, I had to see pictures to book this hotel. There are pictures over there for the room service menu. There are pictures for everything. That's how I got this. All right. Now you have to act like a business to be treated like a business. Furthermore, you have to act like a business that is here for profit to be treated like a business that's here for profit. For whatever reason, somebody told artists that if you don't charge, then you're a real artist. That if you do charge, if you charge a lot of money, then you're a sellout. F that. Completely f that and f them. When I booked this hotel, they were mostly booked. So they raised their rates on me. When I booked my car, I drove here because I just had too much camera gear, but they raised their prices because there's a shortage of rental cars right now. So I know this, I'm not happy about it, but I accept it just like I accept the expensive prices for my iPhone, for my iPad, for my laptop and my camera over there. I accept it, I accept it, you accept it, everybody accepts it. So you are no different than anybody else. At the same time, if you are booking a lot of clients, then raise your prices. Like every single business I just described, raise your prices, your clients expect it. You are standing in your own way of making more money. You're standing in your own way of thriving and you're merely surviving. Raise your prices. Now, here's another thing about staying in low price Ville. Here's the thing about budget clients. Budget clients go to budget hotels. They go to budget restaurants. They shop for budget clothes. Nothing wrong with that. And I grew up a lot that way. I also understand that when you're shopping for everything budget, you also want a budget photographer. You don't really have a budget for this photographer and you probably want a whole lot for a tiny bit of money. I promise you, all right? Take my word for it. Take every business mentor's word for it. Get out of Budgetville. Get out of low budget uh, land, okay? You may have started there because you needed some work, because you wanted to prove yourself, because you wanted a portfolio. Okay, fine. Get the hell out of there. Just like you would get out of a neighborhood that was bad for you. You would get out of a car that you no longer felt was serving you for your best interest. You would get out of a job that was draining you. On the other side of it are incredible clients, like my clients over there. And I point that way because that's where they live. That's why my hotel room is like off to the side of the strip, but these clients, I love them. They respect my wage. They don't question my rate. They pay my invoice. If they're a tiny bit late, I get an apology with it. They listen to what I have to say and they refer me to other people and they listen to my ideas. Do you know why? Because they have a big budget. And do you know who they hang out with? On their private jets, on their private yachts. They hang out with other people who have big, big budgets. They refer to their friends. They vacation together. See, it's difficult in life for somebody incredibly rich to vacation with somebody not so rich. Doesn't mean any of them are bad. It just means they can't really afford from the same menu. They can't afford the same amenities. They can't afford the same anything. So rich people hang out with rich people. Lower income people hang out with lower income people. Your job is to move from one to the other, whichever direction you want to go to. So keep in mind that when you hang out with uh, clients that don't respect your rate too much, you're only going to stay there. You're going to seal the deal that that's where you belong and that's who's going to refer you and that's who's always going to haggle with you. Raise your prices like every business. If you find that it doesn't work, you bring it back down a little bit. 
just raise your prices. I promise you it works. All right. The other thing is photography is in everything. Uh, video is in everything. Businesses can't sell millions and billions of stuff without your skills. Understand your value. Like I'm literally standing here like a fool on the stack of things begging you to raise your prices. You're worth it. Bet on yourself. Bet on the market supporting you. Bet on your skills. Commit to doing custom work. Commit to um, creating something beautiful for your clients and expecting something beautiful back, your full rate. Now, you could become the low freebie type of photographer that's like 200 bucks, 200 bucks, 200 bucks, 200 bucks, 200 bucks. You're going through exhaustion. Nobody appreciates you, but you kind of became a machine. You actually became a photography vending machine. And you know what happens when you do that? you get paid like a vending machine. I want you to slow down. I want you to increase your rate. I want you to um, have certain levels of, of uh, respect that you expect, raise those prices and be treated like a well-paid artist, not a vending machine, all right? If you wanna learn more about your pricing for photography, you can click right here. Thank you for listening. I hope this triggered you. I hope this upset you. I don't give a damn. I want you to do well. And please raise your prices. People expect you to raise your prices. Oh, also, if you want to learn more about photography, making money from your business, um, there's a link in my description of this video. Click that and you'll get almost weekly freebies from me. You'll find out when the next podcast is or the next YouTube video. Plus, you might even get a cheat sheet with it. You'll get uh, infographics for free. You'll get exclusive offers that people don't get on social media that could only do via email. So if you're interested in that, sign up. It's free. Um, if you're interested in learning more about this, subscribe to this channel, click like. But I more than anything want to know in the comments, are you committing to investing in yourself or are you not? I'll see you guys next time.